Our fourth inductee is Kara Hill. Kara was a four-year member of the women's basketball program, wrapping up her career as the all-time leading scorer and rebounder, and she still ranks second in both categories. She was a three-time All-NEAC selection. Leadership and knowledge of the game. Uh, she was a freshman, I'm not gonna make a freshman a captain, but her leadership on the court and off the court with the other players, getting them together, practicing in the gym. Her and Alicia came in and they just did so much. I'll never forget, uh, she was a great team player. Uh, there were times she had shots and wouldn't take them. She wanted to pass them up and she did pass them up to the point where I got a little upset uh, because I want to score, I want to win. And, but she, she looked beyond that and she saw the importance of her getting the other players involved and when she got them involved we became a, a better team. Sometimes you don't have a good game and they'll be down on, them, on themselves and all but Kara was always the one to go over and give them an encouraging word you know and always you know always there for people even if it's situations where they you know may have personal issues or whatever they could always talk to Kara and you know she was always there for them. Yes, and then not only lead by example, uh, she would lead on the court when we're playing games. She would get in the huddle and give suggestions and, and be a coach player on the field, on the court. That's what she was. And then we only had the gym over there at Greenspring. And so that was, in, we didn't have but a lot of spaces. So we had to pick and choose when we could go in and use them because we had physical education classes then. And so uh, she would get the other girls, and they'd, and they'd go in, and they'd come in my office, Coach, we need a basketball. And I'd say, there they are in my office, get them. And they'd go in, they'd shoot and shoot and shoot. Uh, they worked on their game. Oh yeah, absolutely. She's, she's not gonna ask anybody to do something that she wouldn't be, be willing to do. And, and you know, she was captain for three years. So, um, you know, you don't, you're not a captain for three years and, and get the respect of your teammates you know, without setting that example. And, and I think that work ethic and, and that training and that discipline, I think they went to, uh, first time in history, uh, in Stevenson, they went to the uh, conference semifinals. And that was the first time in, in women's basketball for the university, which I'm sure contributed to the fact that we're here talking about her today. So yeah, no, she, she's always been, you know, tough on herself. She's always been tough on herself. From the class of 2007, it is my honor to welcome Kara Hill into the Dick Watts Athletics Hall of Fame. Good evening. <laughs> Sorry, I'm a little nervous. I'm so honored to be inducted into the Dick Watts Stevenson University Athletics Hall of Fame. I never would have imagined when I started at Villa Julie College in the fall of 2003 that I would be standing here today. I must say that Coach Raymer was instrumental in bringing me to Villa Julie. He was both persistent and consistent in his recruiting efforts. And I often could easily spot him in a gym at Oxen Hill. I was always amazed that he was willing to drive to Prince George's County from Baltimore on a weeknight just to see me play. My first season as a Mustang was truly a shock to my system. My high school made it to the state championship my senior year. So when we didn't win a single game my freshman year, <laughs> I knew we had a lot of work to do. <laughs> I was not discouraged, but determined not to go another season like the previous. Coach Rama assured me help was on the way, and boy was he right. My co-inductee, Tonya, joined the team along with several other recruits, which was the start of our turnaround. My senior year, we finished with a record of 19 and 10. To go from zero wins in a season to 19 wins is a testament to our hard work. 
The athletic department became my family away from home. The men's basketball team and women's basketball team often traveled together and became a support system for each other. I even had a bonus coach in Coach Adams who would offer advice on my game. This truly was a unique and special group. I cannot fail to mention the support of many faculty members that supported the teams at countless games. Special shout out to Chip Rouse. <laughs> I must admit, I was a little jealous when I came back to the sports facilities here and saw how <laughs> marvelous they were. But I was incredibly proud at how much the university has grown. I want to thank my amazing parents for their unconditional love and support during my basketball career and life. Even when I was discouraged, which happened often, I knew I could count on them to be a positive and uplifting voice in my ear. My success here would not have been possible without them. I also would like to thank the rest of my family that came out to support me tonight. I'm so thankful for my experience at Stevenson University and have met lifelong friends along the way. I will forever cherish the memories I have here. Thank you.